suicide, depression, loneliness, sadness, symptoms of thirst. You thirst because you do not drink enough. But as believers, we are the real drunkards. For what we drink is stronger than alcohol. Vodka is not strong enough to get us high, so we drink the greatest high and call it God. Warning, this liquid is rated supernatural, for the composition of its content is not scripturally recommended for human consumption, so drinker's discretion is thoroughly advised. And you may think that you have tasted the best of wine, finest of spirits, or experienced the greatest of highs and crossed the limits of alcohol. But you are only human until you have tasted the booze of the spirit. And you are no drunkard until you begin to ooze of secret waters. Drinkers, this question is thoroughly advised. I was born human. Iniquity was my origin until once upon the midnight, a star led me to the legend whose blood is liquor. He laughs to stupor, took mother bullet to get me high, told the devil to smirn off, and in one magic moment and a victory shout, I lost mortality. When the spirit broke out, have you tasted why? I do not speak of the likes of Gouda. This is the ultimate. A certain brand of Judah, not made for mortal tongues, for humans can hardly tolerate strong drink. How much more? God, God. Ah. I do not tell of the content of bottles. No, divinity does not drink from bottles like mortals, for bottles cannot contain burning fire, so we drink from portals. With buckets of joy, we draw from bottomless wells of epignosis, and in cups of rema, we make toasts. From the depths of exegesis, have you drunk the blood booze? A swallowed life after death, have you tasted the fire smooth, or drank the sound of the heaven touching earth? What language do you speak? And to what tribe do you belong? I, I do not hail from a physical country or a natural region. I belong to the blood tribe, descendants of the Zion nation. For though we are in this world, representatives of countries and of flags, we are citizens of heaven. Our humanity is but a camouflage for without these costumes of flesh and bones, we would be of little use. And this abode we are, a people of burning lips and unknown tongue. We communicate in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Our species was created in Genesis 2, recreated in Galatians 2, and customized in the Acts of Apostles 2. We are neither French nor German, Igbo or Yoruba, English or American. We are supernatural. The Trinity in human containers. We hail from the Avatar dynasty of heavy drinkers, Graham, Idahosa, Wigglesworth, or a few of our ancestors, avatars we are, preservers of the universe, lights of the world, masters of time, sounds of God, and we drink. Unrestricted and without limits, with boundless capacity for the spirit, we drink. With stammering lips and an unknown tongue, shameless audacity, reckless abandon, we drink. 
and we get ultra high for the spirit is our power station we are transmission line so we drink to ignite and hard as it may try the world can never boast of stupor like us for the Lord is our bartender Elohim fills our cup And what they call booze, we call the spirit. And what they call groove, we call fellowship. And as we ooze of the booze of life, we render death of no use. It's no news that darkness takes to flight to the fuse of light. So we drink fire to a lie. We are high. We know they see with clear eye. Have you shocked Adonai? And if you've ever been to the club called church, no jokes, you're gonna say our head, they touch for. For once upon a busy afternoon, we postponed the sunset and made a mockery of the clock. And where the Egyptians saw a Red Sea, we saw a road network. We are never stranded, never broke. We command the cash, we trample on gold. For where you see the river, we just might set the bank and what you call tilapia. We just go call cashiers. We, we are neither alcoholic nor are we human. We are naturally supernatural, proudly bloody. We drink the most high God. We eat his body. And you, you may think that you have tasted the best of wine, finest of spirits, or experienced the greatest of highs and crossed the limits of alcohol. But you are only human until you have tasted the booze of the spirit. And you are no drunkard until you begin to ooze of secret water. So be not drunkard with alcohol, but become authentic drunkards, making tremendous power available. And with God, God drinking responsibly is completely irresponsible for you. You can drink to stupor when the spirit is your liquor. For this liquid is rated supernatural. The composition of its contents is not scripturally recommended for human consumption. So, drinkers, this question is thoroughly advised. Available to individuals above and under the age of 18. God, God. 